Hi and hello to everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about a problem uh, about sketching the spectrum of the message signal M of T as well as the double sideband suppressed carrier DSB, double sideband suppressed carrier signal, which is the product of the message signal along with this signal. You can take this as a carrier signal, cost 10,000 pi T. After sketching them, we have to identify what is the upper sideband, lower sideband, and what are the corresponding frequencies. Okay, let us start with uh, the question is they are, they are given two signals, two message signals, which is M of T is cos 1000 pi T and the second message signal is cos 1000 pi T multiplied with cos 3000 pi T. Okay, we will do one by one, right. First thing to sketch the spectrum of M of T, I am taking the first signal which is M of T is cos 1000 pi T, right. What is cos 1000 pi T? From this we have to find out what is the frequency. Okay, so this is omega, 1000 pi is omega, so omega is equal to 2 pi fc. So if you compute fc, you would be getting 500 hertz. Okay, and this is the Fourier transform relationship between the cos signal and the frequency, time domain and frequency domain, right. So cos 2 pi fc t, I can express either in form of frequency or in omega, right. That is in the frequency in the form of hertz or omega in the form of radians per second, right. Okay, here we will be using the first form that is in the form of F. Okay, so cos 2 pi F C T, in, if you take Fourier transform, it is 1 by 2 del of F minus F C plus 1 by 2 del of F plus F C. Okay, so uh, taking for M of T, the Fourier transform is M of F. Okay, so it is cos uh, F C is 500. So it is 1 by 2 del of 1 by 2 del of minus F C. So I am putting 500 here plus 1 by 2 del of F plus 500. Okay, now so we have drawn the this is the spectrum this is the spectrum or the frequency domain expression what about the spectrum you look at it here uh, we have a del term okay inside the bracket we should get the zero right so if i put f is equal to 500 then it becomes del of zero del of zero is one right so uh, f is equal to 500 so f is equal to 500 the amplitude corresponds to one by two right so this term corresponds to this spectrum the first term I can say okay then come to the second term f plus 500 so if I put f is equal to minus 500 I will get this point okay so at uh, when f frequency is equal to minus 500 the amplitude is 1 by 2 right frequency is equal to minus 1 by 2 this corresponds to this okay that's about the spectrum of the first message signal cos 1000 pi t. Now we move into the second signal um, which is cos 1000 pi t multiplied with cos 3000 pi t. Okay. Right. So second message signal is uh, uh, we are going to they are asking uh, what is the spectrum of the message signal. M of uh, M of T is cos 1000 pi T multiplied with cos 3000 pi T. This is we can take it as cos A cos B. We know this relation cos A plus B plus cos A minus B divided by 2. Okay, so if you do that, we will be getting cos 4000 pi T. This is A, this is B. So 3000 pi T plus 1000 pi T becomes 4000 pi T. 3000 pi T minus 1000 pi T will be getting 2000 pi T and divide and multiply everything by 1 by 2 or divide by 2. Both are same, right? Okay. So from this, we have to compute what are the frequencies. So this is your omega, 4000 pi is your omega, omega is 2 pi f1 I am taking, so f1 is equal to 2000. Similarly, uh, this 2 pi f2 is your 2000 pi t, okay, so ft, f2 is equal to 1000 pi, we got the two frequency. Now you have to take Fourier transform, okay, you have taking, just taking Fourier transform, taking Fourier transform, you will be getting, so 1 by 2 is a constant, so for cos 4000 pi t, it would be like 1 by 2 del of f minus 2000 plus 1 by 2 del of f plus 2000. Similarly, 1 by 2 is constant. I'm putting here for cos 2000 pi t, it would be 1 by 2 del of f minus 1000 plus f plus 1000. Okay. Now bring uh, that one, multiply 1 by 2 inside, you get this expression. You get this expression. Right. Now, again, as usual. Uh, inside the braces you should be getting 0 right so f minus 2000 right so f is 2000 so 2000 minus 2000 will be getting del of 0 okay so this point this del corresponds to 
the frequency of this okay what is the corresponding amplitude amplitude is 1 by 4 okay now come to this term f plus 2000 if i put f is equal to minus 2000 i would be getting this point okay right okay now come to the third third del third del is your f minus 1000 if i put f is equal to 1000 i would be getting this to point okay then f plus 1000 f plus 1000 so if i put f is equal to uh, minus 1000 minus 1000 corresponds here the amplitude is 1 by 4 you should be getting this point okay okay these are the spectrum of the second message signal right now uh, since they asked about the what about the upper side band and lower side band that also we can uh, okay this is the spectrum of the see uh, this is the spectrum of the message signal right okay still now we didn't go for upper side band and lower side band because we have not modulated only in uh, the b part of the question you look at it here look at the question the b part of the question only what we are doing we are just multiplying the message with the carrier which is cos 10000 pi t right okay so we do that now okay so sketch the spectrum of the double sideband suppressed carrier signal i'm giving the notation phi of d s b s c of t which is m of t cos 10000 pi t in the first case we have the given the message is cos 1000 pi t so m of t multiplied with cos 10000 pi t so cos in m of t i'm substituting cos 1000 pi t multiply with cos 10000 pi t okay as usual this is cos a cos b so cos a plus b plus cos a minus b so 10000 pi t plus 1000 pi t is 11000 pi t 10000 pi t minus 1000 pi t is 9000 pi t okay divide everything by 2 okay right now taking fourier transform for this signal what is the frequency as we have seen it many times for this signal the frequency let me put it like f1 is 5500 for this signal the frequency would be 4500 right okay so on taking Fourier transform, this 1 by 2 is constant, keeping it here. So 1 by 2 del of f minus 5500 plus 1 by 2 del of f plus 5500. Okay, just I am writing, writing the Fourier transform of cos 11000 pi t. Okay, similarly, write the Fourier transform of cos 9000 pi t. You will be writing this. Okay, cos 1 by 2 del of f minus 4500 plus 1 by 2 del of f plus 4500. Okay, now you multiply this 1 by 2 inside you would be getting uh, 1 by 4 this expression now again uh, what about this uh, inside the braces it should be inside the braces you if you, if you substitute f as 5500 you would be getting del of 0 del of 0 the amplitude is 1 by 4 so 5500 corresponds to this point right now come to this term f plus 5500 if you substitute f is minus 5500 uh, you'll be getting this okay now come to come here if we substitute fs 4500 uh, you'll be getting this point right okay so this corresponds to this similarly if we substitute fs uh, uh, minus 4500 uh, this del of 0 becomes 1 this del of 0 becomes 1 okay so your amplitude is 1 by 4 this corresponds to this point right okay this is how we have drawn the spectrum this is the spectrum of double sideband suppressed carrier for the given message signal m of t okay now we can easily mark what is the upper sideband and lower sideband right so this is your upper sideband this is your upper sideband i can say usb okay and this is your lower sideband lsb okay so upper sideband frequency is 5500 okay and lower sideband frequency is 4500 now we do the same thing for the second message signal for this what is the second message signal second message signal is what is the second message signal m of t which is cos 1000 pi t multiply with cos 3000 pi t okay what you have done 
cos 1000 pi t and cos 3000 pi t can be rewritten like this 1 by 2 cos 4000 pi t plus 1 by 2 cos 2000 pi t okay so that's what i am using here second message signal i am using cos 4000 pi t divided by 2 cos 2000 pi t divided by 2 now for double side band suppressed double side double side band dsb it should be okay double side band suppressed carrier signal uh, we are going to write find out what is m of t multiplied with cos 10000 pi t what is your m of t which is this expression plug it here plug the m of t here and multiply with cos 10000 pi t okay now we multiply this 10000 pi t inside you getting this right okay as usual these are simple mathematical manipulations what i am doing this is your okay this is in the form of cos b cos a cos a cos b i can say right so cos a plus b so 10000 pi t plus 4000 pi t is 14000 pi t cos a minus b 10000 pi t minus 4000 pi t is cos 6000 pi t and whole divided by 2 similarly this is cos a cos b so cos 12000 pi t plus cos 8000 pi t by 2 okay we got this expression now you take the fourier transform what is the fourier transform of this what is the frequency first we have to identify the frequency what is the frequency of the first term yeah, we have done it many times. Let me take it as f1. For the frequency, this, this entire thing is 2 pi f1, right? Okay, 2 pi f1, right? So, your f1 would be 7000, right? Then for this term, let me put 2 pi f2, okay? What is the frequency here? f2 would be 3000, okay? Similarly, for the third term, F3 would be 6000. F4 would be 4000. Right? Okay. Now, as usual, uh, write the Fourier transform of this expression, which is cos 14000 pi t. It will be getting 1 by 2 del of f minus 7000 plus 1 by 2 del of f plus 7000. Similarly, write the Fourier transform of cos 6000 pi t. You will be writing this. Fourier transform of cos 12000 pi t. You'll be getting this. You'll be getting this. Okay. Then what is the Fourier transform of cos 8000 pi t? You'll be getting this. Okay. Now sketch the spectrum. This case the spectrum. What I have done is I just written the, the same color way, right? You can see the blue color. The blue color. One by four you multiply with one by two. This corresponds to seven minus seven thousand. This corresponds. This corresponds seven thousand. This corresponds to minus seven thousand. Okay, this blue color spectrum corresponds to this. Then green color, this corresponds to 3000, this corresponds to minus 3000. Okay, so 3000 and minus 3000 I have drawn in green color. Then this corresponds to 6000, this corresponds to minus 6000. This is in red color, the amplitude is 1 by 8. Okay, the amplitude is 1 by 8. Okay, the last one I am using black color, F minus 4000, so F should be 4000 del of f plus 4000 f should be equal to minus 4000 right which corresponds to black color okay and i am multiplying 1 by 4 with 1 by 2 so the amplitude for all would be like 1 by 8 now what about the spectrum upper side band and lower side band right so these two frequencies are these two components are these are the your upper side bands okay these two frequencies are your lower side bands okay so these two are your lower side bands these two frequencies oh sorry i had a mere miss miss okay this is your upper side band 6000 and 7000 are your upper side band and 3000 and 4000 are your lower side band and the corresponding frequencies you have to, these are the frequencies for the i mean these are the frequencies for the upper side band these are the frequency for the lower side band okay and what about the amplitude for all the frequencies the amplitude amplitude is 1 by 8 okay that's it right okay so we have done uh, we have completed the question right so what you are doing is first we are sketching the message signal spectrum then message multiplied with the carrier which is cos omega this is your carrier signal okay this is your carrier signal you can say this is your carrier signal okay for that you are I am sketching the spectrum for both m of t. I am plugging the first m of t. Then for the second question, I am substituting the second m of t. Then I am identifying the upper side band, lower side band. Then identifying the frequencies. Okay, now what is the frequency of the base band? Okay, that's important. What is the frequency of the base band? Base band is nothing but the message signal. 
base band is nothing but the message signal okay for the first first uh, message the m of t is cos 10 cos 1000 pi t okay the message frequency is 500 hertz it is 1000 pi t so the frequency is 500 for the second one this cos 1000 pi t cos 3000 pi t can be rewritten as this can be written as okay so what are the frequencies present the frequencies present are 2000 and 1000 that's important right okay so for the baseband signal for the first message for this the frequency is 500 for this the frequency is we have two frequencies which is 2000 and what is the second frequency and 1000 okay 2000 and 1000 that's it okay thanks for listening any doubts you ask in the comment section you are most welcome thank you